This is a bit of a warning shot from the European Commission. If anyone believed that corruption wasn't a problem here in Europe, well, they're wrong. The estimated total cost of corruption to the EU economy is more than 120 billion euros a year. That's more than 150 billion dollars. In several countries, more than 90% of citizens believe corruption is widespread. And across Europe, more than 50% of people think it's getting worse. The Home Affairs Commissioner Cecilia Malmström said today that levels of corruption vary from member state to member state. But one thing is clear, there's no such thing as a corruption-free zone in Europe. In some member states, vulnerability to corruption in public procurement processes is the main problem. In other, the main problems are related to political party financing. It's not transparent enough. Widespread corruption at the local authorities is another example. Oh, or we also show that many healthcare patients have to pay under the table to receive proper care. It's also a big problem for European companies. Many of them believe they've lost contracts because of corruption. So what's going to be done about it? Well, there'll be no new laws, no sanctions, and Commissioner Malmstrom admits that change will take time. It takes much more than a report to eradicate corruption. But as we are finding our way out of the economic crisis, this can be a tool. We cannot afford to drag our feet. We hope that this will start a very constructive process that will spur the political will and the necessary commitments at all levels to address corruption because the price of not acting is simply too high. And it's particularly important as the European Union tries to emerge from difficult years during the Eurozone crisis. If countries want to grow their legal economies, then clearly they have to do more to crack down on illegality and corruption. Chris Morris, BBC News, Brussels.